Hello, Alex. Remember what we talked about last week? You were concerned with the upcoming elections. Yes, there is a candidate that everybody is afraid of. Mm -hmm. We learned last week that there will be a perfect government coming soon. What kind of government is that? A heavenly government. Who will be the king of such a perfect government? God's son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So, why do you think Jesus is the ideal king? Let's read paragraph 2. God's son is the ideal king because he is kind and he is firm for what is right. Also, he is powerful enough to help the people because he will rule over the earth from heaven. After he was resurrected, he ascended to heaven and sat down to wait at Jehovah's right hand. Finally, God gave him power to begin the new. I would like for you to read Daniel chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. It reads, I kept watching in the visions of the night, and look, with the clouds of the heavens, someone like a son of man was coming, and he gained access to the ancient of days. And they brought him up close before that one, and to him there were given rulership, honor, and the kingdom, that the peoples, nations, and language groups should all serve him. His rulership is an everlasting rulership that will not pass away, and his kingdom will not be destroyed. I would like for you to answer the question using the paragraph, why is Jesus the ideal king? Well, because Jesus is kind and he is firm for what is right, he is powerful enough to help the people, and he sits at Jehovah's right hand. Mm -hmm. So it's, and I would like for you to answer it also using the scripture. Yes, um, well, God gave uh, Jesus power to begin his rulership. Just like all governments, Jesus will have helpers to help him rule the kingdom. Like in many other governments, like monarchies and even a dictatorship, they all have helpers to advise them and help them do things. Next week we can talk about that, we will discuss that topic. Who will rule with Jesus? Okay, sounds good.